Why should you watch Hello Channel? Because learning English should be inexpensive and learning English should be available to everyone. If you want a brighter future, join us and say hello. These peanut butter Rice Krispie bars are like the million dollar Rice Krispie treat. They're one of, if not my absolute favorite dessert. So let's get started. You're simply going to combine one cup of caro syrup with one cup of sugar. This is easy to remember because it's all the same measurement. And we're going to heat this up till it's combined. And the sugar kind of dissolves into that caro syrup. While that's heating just a bit, I'm going to show you a trick with measuring peanut butter because there's peanut butter that's going into this too. Now, this calls for a cup of peanut butter. So we've got a cup of caro, cup of sugar, cup of peanut butter. Now, so your peanut butter doesn't stick to your measuring cup, put a little saran wrap inside there, like so. Once it's measured, we're just going to flip it on in. Great, now that was just a half cup, so I need to do this one more time. Stick it back in here and do the same thing. Just getting the last of this. Okay, looks pretty good. We'll do the same thing. Flip it on in. So much easier than trying to scrape that out of your measuring cup. Do -do -do. Peanut butter's awesome, and this is a great peanut butter dessert. There we go. Just throw that away. Okay, we're gonna combine this, still over just a, a medium low heat. This is like the classic dessert party dessert. Anytime there's a dessert party going on, these babies are there and they're always a winner. Okay, and that looks about combined. Doesn't take long at all. I'm gonna turn that heat off. Now I've got Five cups of Krispies, Rice Krispies in here. Um, you can double the recipe if you want. Do 10 cups, do two cups of each. But for right now, I'm just doing the five. So I'm simply gonna just pour these over my Rice Krispies. Oh, this is such a good dessert. I absolutely love this. Okay, now just generously coat, make sure evenly distributed. Oops, little spill. Sometimes you just gotta get messy in the kitchen, right? Okay, once these are coated, we're gonna stick them in, I'm using an eight by eight, but like I said, if you were gonna double the recipe, I'd use a nine by 13. Looks pretty good. Get these out of the way. And we'll just dump this right in here. They smell great. Okay. I like to just take my uh, spatula and just press them down nicely so they're even inside the baking dish. Who doesn't love Rice Krispies? And I'm telling you, add the caro syrup and the sugar and the peanut butter. It makes the biggest difference. Now you can serve these just like this, as peanut butter rice krispies, but if you want to take it a step further, which I suggest, got to top it with some chocolate, right? Now there's a couple of things you can do. You could melt chocolate over the stove. And I also put in a bag of butterscotch chips. So I've got a bag of chocolate chips, bag of butterscotch chips. Melt them over the stove over low heat. It's got to be low heat. Or you can stick them in the microwave, 20 second increments, Keep stirring till they're, they're smooth. That's what I chose to do. So I actually already have it all done here. It's a nice smooth consistency. Took just about a minute to melt them. And I'm just gonna pour this right over the top. Oh my goodness. Does it get any better? No. The butterscotch chips with the chocolate chips are a great addition. Something you definitely wanna do. Okay. I'm just gonna smooth these over. Now the last thing I like to do with this dessert is stick it in the, fri the fridge or the freezer 
and kind of let this frosting harden up a little bit. It'll make them easier to cut. I just like the way they taste better. So this dessert gives you a nice, rich, chocolatey, peanut buttery taste with the classic Rice Krispie Crunch. This is definitely a recipe that you're gonna wanna try.